Wow. Hello, float friends. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so exciting to be here. Uh, my name is Jennifer. I am a writer, maker, professional wanderer, and I am a floater. I <laughs> and I'm here to tell my personal float story today. And I just had to rewrite my talk completely after Dr. Feinstein did his thing. So if it's a little funky, work with me. Um, if you had met me 10 years ago, you would have seen the picture of success, uh, history PhD, awards for teaching, writing, high power job in the Humanities Institute world at the University of California. Behind the scenes, I was tanking, seriously. Um, five years ago, I was a woman on the edge. Uh, almost two decades of chronic pain, fatigue, anxiety, um, diagnosis, you know, alternatively is fibromyalgia or hypothyroid, celiac issues, probably all of them combined. Um, so five years ago, I was totally swirling the toilet, toilet bowl. I could not function, I couldn't work. I, you know, was like on weekends, two things. I could do two things, like the bank and the grocery store, the grocery store and the dry cleaner. So it got to a point where I just, I didn't know what I was going to do. I left my job. I moved to Nevada City, to the mountains, to try to find some inner peace, some calm. And I tried everything on Dr. Feinstein's list, except marijuana, which makes me really paranoid. So, um, <laughs> but I was utterly failed by conventional medicine, and most alternative modalities just didn't click for me. Short term, great, long term, no. So then I tried floating. And O M G. My first float was the most transformative thing I had ever experienced. I walked out of the float tank an hour. <laughs> well, I might get a little verklempt here. <laughs> After an hour, and I couldn't find pain anywhere in my body. You don't understand, like, it had been almost 20 years since I could say that. And it just, it was amazing. All, I experienced all the benefits that Dr. Feinstein talked about, the declining muscle tension, the upper, you know, more relaxation, body awareness. For me, that was amazing because I had spent almost 20 years trying not to be aware of my body and to be in a situation where I could pay attention, where I could learn the lessons that my body wanted to teach me. <sighs> amazing. So, and as he said, this didn't, this didn't last forever. It wasn't like, you know, one float and I'm cured. But it did open a door for me. It gave me a gateway to imagine that I could live in this body again, you know, happily and productively. I think the, the number one benefit I got from that very first float was hope. And I need a shirt that says hope floats because it, it really, it changed everything for me. And now I'm back, I'm here, I'm fully present and alive in a way that I, I could not have believed five or 10 years ago. So, wow, floating, it works. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I have an amazing life now. One I like a lot better than the one I had before, when I was successful. <laughs> um, I now live and travel full time in a rehab 1965 Avion camper with my dog, Fiona the Wonder Pug. And I continue to float. So I just want to tell you uh, just a couple of stories about how I continue to use floating and how it continues to impact my life and, you know, sort of save my life. So um, Fiona and I just did a, an 80-day, almost 10,000-mile tour of the United States, the Heart of America tour. And um, it started out great, and then we hit Texas. <laughs> and... Oh, the heat, the heat was crazy. And 
and it didn't let up any, everywhere we went. It was 90 degrees plus. My dog is a pug. They don't cool well. They don't do well in heat. I was not doing well in heat. Everything was going wrong. I lost my purse. My engine exploded. My dog had explosive diarrhea. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. And I was in total overwhelm. I was ready to give up and go home and say, you know, this, this isn't fun anymore. This is supposed to be fun, and it's not. So, you know, okay. And I was in Oak Park, Illinois, staying with some friends. And I thought, oh, wait, you know, I, I know, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. I need to go floating. And so I did. I got online, Googled floating in Chicago. Hello, float 60. River North, they put me in the giant float tank that like athletes, professional athletes use. This, this body could be spread eagle, not touch any walls. What an amazing float experience. And I walked out of there with a total brain reset. I continued the trip. There were challenges. Yes, indeed, there were challenges. But I had a new attitude. My, I, I, was, I was traveling with a different brain. And the rest of the trip was amazing. Um, so, overwhelm to reset is one of my key float strategies. Um, floating for creativity. I just last weekend had multiple projects in the works and you know, just like m monkey mind, which one to work on first, how do I coordinate all of this? And so I did something with that I've never done before. I did three floats in three days at my home float tank, a revival in um, Grass Valley. And, oh my God, three floats in three days. I nailed every project, including this talk. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just say, claim it, I nail, I'm nailing this, right? <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> So, reset, creativity, relief from pain. I, you know, floating does so many things on so many levels, but for me, the really, the most powerful thing, the thing that's gonna keep me floating for the rest of my life is, oh, I'm gonna go totally woo-woo, and I might be sucked into this blue thing, but soul retrieval. I think floating, <laughs> Floating just, it, it connects us to the mysteries, to our truest selves, and, and to the collective unconscious. It just, the me you see here today is not a different me, but it's the me I was supposed to be all along, and I... <laughs> Thank you. And floating is what started that journey for me, and it, it's what kept me going, and it's... Wow, huge gratitude. So I, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful to be here today, you know, here in this body, in this world. I'm grateful to be in this auditorium with all of you. Um, while we're getting woo-woo, let's bring in a little science. Quantum entanglement, we are now all connected. Thank you, I love you, namaste.